Good morning, my name is Michael Turpey. This is uh, number seven in the series of instructional videos of how I go about building an oil painting on canvas. Uh, I've taken through you some of the initial stages uh, from uh, sketching, uh, going forward from a pencil sketch into a pastel sketch and then showing you how to uh, prepare the canvas, squaring it up, copying, enlarging, and uh, now I've reached a further advanced stage in the painting and I just want to uh, show you a wee bit more about how we go about that. I'm very much interested in the texture, um, quite heavy paint as I start to build it up. And uh, sometimes I'm mixing the paint directly onto the canvas. Uh, presently working on uh, the sort of uh, interplay of the sky on the side here and uh, this building here. So I'm using uh, a hog hair brush here, uh, which is quite broad, and I'm kind of mixing some bold, broad colour, where I've actually got some uh, cobalt, uh, sorry, sorry, blue. you can see like the, cat, the palette here, some of this uh, cerulean blue, and some of this kind of um, cobalt violet, and some lemon yellow, a uh, combination of these, uh, loading up the brush sometimes, uh, I like to almost mix directly onto the the, the canvas uh, with the different colours here. So I'm uh, mixing with the blue, quite as you can see, quite heavy bold strokes, uh, as we used to call, uh, scumbling, uh, where you're uh, mixing it quite broadly and making marks um, with the, the brush, with quite heavy application of paint here. <laughs> So maybe you can see a wee bit of how I'm going to apply that that paint there uh, quite uh, heavily and boldly. Um, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite interested in this edge uh, between this building here, which is quite a bold kind of orange colour, and uh, I'm colliding with this other. A painted edge and these are some of the very important elements uh, when you are building a picture. So I'm going to switch to the uh, more warm colour here with the, the red and orange colour and uh, get a bit of that in here. Um, always make sure that you uh, clean your brushes <laughs> in between so you don't get too much of the sort of residual colour. I'm going through uh, the scarlet and cadmium so quite heavily just now, so I'm just going to get a bit more of this uh, vermilion here, which I love. Uh, squeeze a bit of that out. you got to watch. <laughs> you know, these can get clogged up quite easily, as you can see there. Uh, so always be sure to put your cap back on again. So I'm going to squeeze some of that out. Now, use a, an old rag. So this is just an old pair of pyjamas torn up uh, to clean the brushes in between. Uh, kitchen roll and toilet paper are fine as well, but I, I quite I prefer the, the rag. It takes away more of the paint sometimes off the paintbrush. So uh, I'm mixing here. Uh, I used to be somebody at art college, it was a bit of a joke because I, I seemed to keep quite tidy and I didn't really have much paint getting on my hands now, but as I'm getting older, finding my paint, my hands get quite covered in paint, so I'm just uh, cleaning that off before I move the, the mobile phone, so I have another look at how I'm going for this uh, combination of colour here, with the yellow and the arms that it's quite heavily loaded this brush because I want to have a kind of expressive angle on how I'm painting this so sometimes it seems a bit kind of ungainly where I'm losing some of the geometry uh, of the paint painting in favor of the heavy loaded paintbrush because I'm quite interested in this age here I'm going to load it almost with a pure colour to get this kind of, ah, oh, yeah, down there. Why? Quite expressionistic, the way I paint, as you can see. So, uh, 
boldly not refined yeah. I'm not uh, too worried about losing some of this uh, straight line uh, because I think when it goes a bit wonky it can actually enlarge the expression expressionistic area of the picture and I get a bit more bolder red and I'm almost just putting this directly on um, to the canvas now this uh, the paint I mean just uh, without mixing now you can see here I'm, I'm quite enjoying this here where it's a sort of cadmium green and I'm almost not mixing or cleaning the brush too much in between I'm just uh, building up a kind of uh, almost complementary colours to darken you know where you're using a bit of uh, orange and red mixed in with the green to, to kind of neutralise it slightly but not too much uh, because I enjoy colour. I don't want to lose the colourful aspect of the picture. So yeah, once again, uh, quite bold in the way I'm laying it on there. The sort of brick effect. Now, uh, I can take you through the picture a bit more. Now, I'll see the way I've been uh, exaggerating the street furniture in terms of this uh, drain cover and uh, the cobbles stones there and uh, I was looking at Van Gogh and so he was quite interested in that as well and the double yellow lines I've been working on uh, this bit here quite a bit next to church so you can actually see uh, you know the texture of the paint but I'm almost using it like I'm mixing still on the paint palette and uh, colliding colours again and this edge here is going to encourage me to mix quite thickly uh, with the violet yeah, a bit of blue in here to get start working on this here see if we can get that a bit better than that and bold blue yeah Why? see if we can get get some of that real heavy colour going there there's wee bits of orange coming through as well and uh, that tends to, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And I can just play about uh, with the thick, the thickness of the paint there as well. So I'm just going to stop there and uh, gives you just a little feel of the paint application. I'm going to continue with that and then I'll catch up with you at a later stage. Okay, thanks for watching and all the best and happy painting. Okay, bye for now, bye bye.